issues. Okay, um... channel please don't forget to like comment subscribe and to do all of that okay um today i have a special guest mm -hmm. this is my guest guys she will be featured in our video today okay um please don't mind my raggedy nails i'm gonna remove them today i promise um so i know i promised this video to be out like by the week after i uploaded my v birthday vlog but um it's been hectic child <laughs> it's been hectic but i'm glad to be doing this because a lot of people have been asking me about the blind and how i got to picking and basically like what's happening and all of that so please stay tuned in and i'll be informing you informing you guys about everything so for those of you who don't know the blood is a place in pretoria east and it is famously known for its crystal lagoon so that's why everyone is being basically hyped out about it and it's actually a very amazing place i would recommend you guys to go check it out if you haven't already so a lot of people have been asking me about how i got to book the blood and like i said i booked through airbnb and i've seen like when i was doing my research a lot of people were assuming that um sorry about that as i was saying like a lot, while i was doing my research i've seeing that a lot of people have been assuming that the only way you can get into the blood is by knowing someone there so um that's not true but kind of it is because they do not allow daily visitors so you can either go there if you know someone or if you book and that's the only way how you can be able to go inside so um the apartment i booked was a two bedroom for one night because i pray there was only a night but i know it was like kind of broke so <laughs> yeah um i booked for a night and it was 1.162 and the only reason why it was 1.1 was because i chose a no cancellation no i chose the cancellation policy which if i cancelled the day before before 2 p.m i was able to get my money back but there is a cheaper option which is the no cancellation policy so basically if you do cancel and you choose that option you will not be able to get your money back which like the difference was like a hundred rand and something i think so it's not bad i mean you can go a hundred <sighs> what am i saying you can go a hundred rand extra just to be safe that if you do happen to cancel then you know your money save child so with regards of how everything works inside is basically obviously when you get inside the estate you're gonna need um a passcode no you the person you've booked from needs to tell you like the unit number and everything like that and obviously before that that person needs to have registered your name by the gate so when you do check in you're gonna need to provide the information that your host has given to you and the security at the gate will obviously have that information about you and the only person you're gonna need the person who actually booked to be able to get in because they have that person's information and with because of how everything happens inside um every like the lifestyle center is a separate like it's a gated place which has like the crystal lagoon it has the beach <laughs> it has the crystal lagoon which is the beach and it has a restaurant it has a gym 
and i don't remember what else but yeah and then when you do get in there every person that booked needs to enter a passcode so basically when you book you're gonna have passcodes for each person for instance if you booked a four a two bedroom apartment which has a maximum capacity of two people you're gonna have you're gonna need four passcodes so your host will give you four passcodes for every person and then that's the thing you cannot lie about how many people you are booking for because also when you get in the gate and when you have to access the after center you're gonna need a passcode since it was the lockdown since it's the, what am i saying it's this hand over here it's the hand that's making me chat. um so since uh, well the level two was announced like a day was it level two or level one yeah but something like that it was announced the day before my birthday but it was only gonna be implemented on one day but what's happening there right now the lockdown and everything you have to go and register your name to be able to enter the lagoon so for instance the person who checked us in asked us to go like as soon as we got there oh, sorry asked us to go as soon as we got there to go register our names and a time in which we will be able to go so we went there and we registered for like for like four to six so they give you a maximum of two hours to be able to go in there but the host told us that it doesn't mean like you can only go for that two hours in that day so you can go and register for that two hours and then if you feel like you haven't like had enough in there you can go and register your name for another two hours so when you do go in you register your name for whatever time and then when you want to go at that time you go and then you get um, a bracelet thing to be able to go in and then when you go out obviously the security takes it off in my research i've re come to realize that not all apartments are like you're gonna have to have the host to check you in i realize that some apartments have a check-in box thingy where you are going to need a passcode from your host to enter the the pin in there and then it will check you in i'll drop a picture somewhere there to show you guys what i'm talking about but my apartment our apartment was a check it was not a self check-in so we had to be checked in by the host so that's another thing to um check there are a lot of nice apartments a lot a lot a lot i saw like there were a couple that i really liked but one that i really liked i <laughs> One that I really liked, the price increased by the time I wanted to book in, to book it. Like, honestly, it was wild. It was really crazy because by the time I wanted to book it, I think it was like one one point three or something. And then by the time I was actually ready to book it, it was like one point nine. I was like, no child, <laughs> I ain't doing that. So I left that, but I also dropped the link of the apartment I'm talking about. It was really cute like it was actually like i also loved the apartment we got the host was super nice he was amazing he even let us check in early like before the check-in time because i can talk but no he really like was amazing i had like even if i had some problems before checking in and after checking in i could just text him and ask him a question and he would respond and very easily and he also um i was concerned because before i booked the crystal lagoon was not open for the pub you no know, for people to use i think it was level three 
I'm not sure. I really uh, guys it's been well I forgot but it was not it was close and we won we weren't gonna be able to go in there and to go into the beach but just after booking or before booking the levels had gone down so he had informed me that we were able to go into the Crystal Lagoon by the time of my birthday so that was great he was great communication was amazing and that's one thing you should like check i mean you wouldn't know until like not a big no but you can send the host a message before booking the apartment and then obviously you will see what kind of person they are i would recommend really booking from someone who is very nice and you know replies fast and you know what i mean because what if like you go into the apartment and you don't know how to use a certain thing or you have a certain problem or a certain question about anything and they should be able to answer that and that's why i love the guy a bit from so i will be dropping the apartment tour on the next clip and hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any more questions about booking there and everything please drop it down below in the comment section and don't forget to use the link that i provided to get a discount or the on the airbnb app and thank you for <laughs> thank you guys for watching <laughs> see you guys next time welcome okay so here is the kitchen and you see we have a fridge a microwave and then the living area I'm gonna go to the balcony now this is the view it's actually not a bad view TV, one by DSTV, and heading over to the main bedroom. We have some closet area, another TV, DSTV, and the bathroom, and that's me. Toilet, shower, um, another bathroom, shower, yeah, and to the second bedroom, we have Urechi <laughs> and another TV. Okay guys, so once you have followed the link and downloaded the Airbnb app and logged in, signed up and everything, this is where it will take you. So what you want to do is search for the blight. This is the address. So you'll go there, find a place to stay and just select any date in which you are interested in so i just randomly selected that those dates and i booked a two-bedroom apartment for four people so four adults and this is what it will show you these are a few apartments that are available this is one of the apartments I said I liked. I really like this apartment. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. And this is the self-check-in thingy I was telling you guys about. And you can just look for any apartment that you are interested in. So I have a few apartments saved and how you save an apartment is so basically you can just say an apartment if you are interested in a few and you haven't 
made up your decision of which one you would like so just press the heart there and i have a few lists so pretoria and go to saved and this is the apartment in which i've saved so the apartment i booked was this one is it yeah this is the apartment i booked so as you can see it's very nice and clean yeah so you can just go to check availability my th the days i chose were, are booked so let me just select another date just to show you guys and save so it's 900 and a night so reserve and it will show you all the the total amount you will be paying so this is where your total will show and with the coupon it will also show here if it doesn't you can just enter coupons and just follow that ask me out ask me out ask me out nigga ask me out